Hi, Lee Phillips here. I want to counsel you for two seconds on the cost of an LLC or a corporation or entity. Um, that's going to factor into whether or not you really want one. So think about it when you go to set up your corporation, your LLC. There's, of course, the original setup fee. And many lawyers, if you walk in and say, Hi, Mr. Lawyer, I need the corporation or the LLC. Here I am. Set me up. What's he going to do? He ain't going to set you up. So there's a cost, even if you go to legal doom or something. There's a cost of the setup, and that's going to run these days anywhere from a few hundred dollars on the internet, do it yourself -y sites, to several thousands of dollars when you go to the legal firms. So think about the original cost. Then there's always a cost at the state. All states have some sort of a fee, at least to establish the LLC or the corporation. If you pay that fee, then there's an ongoing annual fee. In some states, Utah, it's 12 bucks. Arizona doesn't have an annual fee. Uh, California has an $850 annual fee. And uh, New York, New Jersey, them foreign countries, they have high annual fees, thousands of dollars. Well, not thousands, but into the, into the heavy hundreds of dollars. And so there's the ongoing cost of the entity. Then you also have an additional accounting issue. Because unless it's an LLC taxed as a disregarded entity, the entity is going to have to file its own tax return. Now the corporation, the C corporation, pays its own taxes. All the rest of them still file a tax return, but then everything passes through to the owners. So there is another tax return, and with your accountant, that could be anywhere from 500 bucks to 1,500 bucks for simple accounting. So think of the additional tax return. That's an expense, and there's bookkeeping and accounting and stuff that goes along with that. You'd have most of the bookkeeping and accounting even if you didn't have the LLC or the corporation. Then there's the pain in the butt factor. You've got to follow the formalities. You've got to have meetings. You've got to file every year with the state. Some states require that. You've got to do all of these things in order to maintain your corporation or your LLC. You've got to issue the stock. You've got to adopt the, uh, the bylaws or the operating agreement if it's an LLC. You've got to do all of this sort of stuff in order to make the entity, the LLC, or the corporation work. And if you're in a limited partnership, you've got to file your certificate of limited partnership interest. You've got to do all sorts of stuff. So there are legal formalities that go along with this. Maybe I don't need the LLC or the corporation. I've got another YouTube on whether you really need it or not. So, also, when you're thinking about setting up the company, think about the costs, the real costs, of having the company. And in many cases, you're not going to make enough money in this endeavor to pay for the company. I see that very often. Uh, you've got to get a tax ID number. You've got to do, I mean, there are just lots of stuff that you've got to do if you're really going to have an LLC or a corporation. The cost is monetary and it's pain in the butt factor as well. Think about it before you set up your LLC or your corporation. Lee Phillips talking on, yeah, what's the real cost of a corporation LLC?